Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If you're looking to join the wonderful world of IT, either you have finished school or looking to change jobs due to the current global situation, it would be a plus if you have some knowledge before applying or going to an interview. The future is cloud, no doubt about it. Though if you plan to get an entry level help desk or junior IT job, you still need to have the basic on servers, networking equipment, cabling, OS and others. This is something that I use every day. You can call it a data center in a box. I know it's not offering networking, storage, computing the same chassis, but everything stack here is light, zero noise as there are no fans, low power consumption and small size. Here is the bill of materials. Ubiquiti Edge Router X, Ubiquiti Edge Switch with 10 ports, an Intel NUC 7 generation with an i3 CPU, Raspberry Pi 4, plus a bunch of cables. It's not breaking the bank and it's easy to configure while still offering that SMB or enterprise feel. Now, the Intel NUC is amazing. So if you can get one with at least i3 and 8 gig of RAM, you should be okay for hosting a bunch of virtual machines. It can run VMware EXXi, Microsoft Hyper-V as we show it here, Citrix Hypervisor, Proxmox, you name it. Try not to overspend, so do your own research and go with something used if possible. In our scenario, we have went with uh, an eBay listing where we paid the round of $180 for our uh, NUC 7 with uh, 8 gig of RAM, 240 gig SSD, but without the Windows 10 operating system. Now, I also had to attach uh, an external NIC as the Intel NIC, a NUC, it's only shipped with a one uh, RJ45. There is a small company called GoRite that offers custom leads for Intel NUX. This is adding a 10 100 interface. Now, five cables are also $10. In my particular scenario, I have gone with the multicolored option. Red is my Kali Linux box, which acts as an attacker. Yellow, I am mirroring my network traffic to a collector. We have a Raspberry Pi 4, as I have mentioned, currently running Kali Linux. This is great for learning security and pen testing. This thing is cheap and you can get one for $40, $50. Try looking at the version with 4 gig of RAM if possible and attach a 64 gig, the fastest one you can get. We have decided on the cheapest case found on the internet. It's all plastic but solid and have a small cooler but it's not yet installed for keeping the noise down. Ubiquiti gear is everywhere, new used, open box, try something quiet with no fans, which have the minimum number of ports you need. I would recommend anything between 5 to 8 ports on the switch, something bigger will be loud and it will consumer powered. You can get a router or even a switch for like $40, $50 and have tons of functionality, allowing you to create VPN, VLANs, look at traffic analysis per host, firewall, DNS and so on. All hardware is having Gorilla duck, double tape, sided tape on the bottom, but anything works in, in a home lab. Now, the nice thing with Ubiquiti Gear, they provide access to a free cloud unified management portal for all their Edge Mac series networking devices. And also an on-premise version, it's available for you to host in your infrastructure. You can also create topology views, which are added automatically for Ubiquiti devices and can be easily adjusted for third-party devices. You can also see different statistics like uh, uh, throughput, transferred and received traffic, uh, latency, port utilization, and other functionalities available using that uh, unified UI. You can even go changing the password of the gear, open a console to the end, uh, network equipment and do your own uh, management for any ubiquity device that is present in your infrastructure or even devices that are added later. With the platform, you can even schedule uh, firmware updates for all the devices with one click and the platform will take care of the upgrade at the scheduled time. If a problem occurs, the process is automatically stopped. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we like to keep things small and low power and easy. Please leave us a comment on your home lab gear that you're currently running and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. See you next time and stay safe.